Hello. In this video, I will show you how to email your students and or your students' contacts from the Power Teacher Pro Gradebook. This is a new feature in the school year 2021. Last year, we did add a customization to the Power Teacher Portal, which allowed you to email your students or your students' contacts by clicking the envelope. The feature in Power Teacher Pro Gradebook gives you a lot more flexibility. You can email one class or all of your classes. You can email a single student or a single student's contacts. You can even email a group of students and or a group of students' contacts. Before we get started, you need to make sure that you have turned on the filter option in the gradebook. To do that, click the gear symbol. If you see show filter, click show filter. If when you click the gear symbol, you see high filter, that just means you've already turned the filter on. Once you turn the filter on, it will, the filter option on, it will stay on until you turn it off so that each time you start up the Power Teacher Gradebook, you do not have to set that option. To get started, click the plus sign, select email. First, you want to select classes. The class that is showing or the group of classes that are showing at the top of the Power Teacher Pro Gradebook page will be selected for you. You can select additional classes if you wish. Next, you need to select your recipients. If you want to email all of the students, you click the checkbox at the top of the student column. You can see that I've selected 96 of the possible 96 students. Next step, click the message tab, enter in a subject, enter your message in the message box, and click the CC me if you'd like to receive a copy of this message. Then you just need to click send. One thing to note is this email message cannot be formatted and you cannot uh, have attachments to this email. So there is another option if you need to do either of those, and that is to click on this message tab, but you don't need to fill anything out on this page. Just come down and click copy emails. The email addresses will be copied to the clipboard. You then start up your Gmail application, paste those addresses into the BCC line, and then you can format an email message and or include attachments. Now we will pretend that I have sent this email. I will go back to recipients. And this time we'll send an email to students contacts. If you were to select all contacts, you would be including any emergency contacts that were in our database. Some students have additional contacts um, in case uh, parents cannot be reached. It might be an aunt or a neighbor or something like that. So in order to make sure that you're only emailing parents or what we refer to as custodial contacts in PowerSchool, you start by clicking the arrow to the left of the word filter. You then click the plus sign. You then do click on this drop down menu and select contact type. Click guardian slash has custody and remember to click the Apply button. You'll now uh, notice that the total number of possible recipients is 261 instead of 278. This total possible recipients includes all of the students as well as all of the students' contacts. So now if I click at the top of the contacts column to select all contacts, Instead of 182 contacts, I now am only selecting 165 contacts, and that will eliminate 
the non-custodial ones. After I've selected the recipients, I can go ahead with the same steps, click on the message tab, enter a subject message, click the CC me box, and go ahead and send the email. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this feature and find it easy to communicate with your families. Thanks for listening.